Good morning, dear sisters. My name is Lazara, and I will be sharing the Sabbath school lesson number four. We will be learning lesson number four together during the week. And the title of our lesson is Glory Inside the Dungeon. We will continue our studies through the book of Acts and learning many lessons of the apostles that are very important for us that we learn in these last days that we are living. So we have the text from the book of Micah, Micah chapter 7, verse 8, and it's a verse for us to memorize. So let's work little by little and try to learn each day a little part. So by the end of the week, we have it memorized. Let's try together. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. Beautiful words, comforting words. So let's learn this verse together. And we have the text from Thoughts from the Mount of Blessing, page 35, that says, Christ was beside Paul and Silas in the Philippian dungeon, and the light of his presence irradiated the gloom with the glory of the courts above. So we are going to study, learning, we'll be learning this week the experience of the apostles when they were in a jail, in prison. Ravished by love, Sunday. When Christ is in our hearts, what happens if we are thrust into prison for the truth's sake? And again, we will read the verse from the book of Mike, Micah verse chapter 7 verse 8 rejoice not against me O mine enemy when i fall i shall arise when i sit in darkness the lord shall be a light unto me so if we are in connection with the with christ we if we are in communion with christ even though if we are going through these moments if we are sent to jail to prison the lord will be our light even though if we fall the lord will help us to rise again we have this text here we have three paragraphs they are all beautiful beautiful words promises comforting words here but i'm not going to read all the the text but you can read during your time, your devotional time. You can meditate in these words. It's very important for the days we are living. But I'm going to read a few lines here. Our enemies may thrust us into prison, but prison walls cannot cut off the communication between Christ and our souls. One who sees our every weakness who is acquainted with every trial is above all earthly powers and angels can come to us in lonely cells bringing light and peace from heaven the prison will be as a palace for the rich in faith dwell there and the gloomy walls will be lighted up with heavenly light so we have beautiful promises here comforting words and I wish and pray that we learn these lessons, we keep in our minds, may the Holy Spirit guide us and help us to learn these lessons so we can use in moments of trials, in moments that we need, may the Holy Spirit bring these lessons to our mind to comfort us and to bring us peace. We will be back tomorrow by the grace of the Lord and we will continue our studies together. Have a blessed day and until tomorrow then. Bye.